Welcome to MMA Fight Night. We got Jason Solomon here letting the crowd know how much he loves them and touching some woman's womb. He touches her womb and he's just getting everyone, his entourage together for a pre-match pose. And there it is. Now it's time to get focused. Oh, no, it's not. He's got a fucking dance to do first. Point to some Sheila he doesn't know. He's even made a bunch of signs. He takes off his hat. That guy doesn't really want it. Then there's some more dancing, chatting shit, and it's hug time. This bloke really not after intimacy. Oh, this guy, he, he wants a hug. I like his keys to victory. Avoids damage, uses his reach, takes it to the ground. Essentially how I'd fight when I was six years old. Like to lock myself into the end of the couch and bicycle kick me older brother. Now he's finally heading into the ring. Oh no, he has to do a fucking trick. You can't enter without doing a fucking trick. His mind is still very much focused on the Sheilas in the crowd, making sure he can secure a post-match gobby. Now he's gonna head to his corner. No, no, he taunts his opponent, who is actually focused. Now he's gonna head to his corner, and he'll talk to this bloke again, ask where his hat is, see if he wants another hug. He says, no, look, the match is about to start, dickhead. So Solomon decides it's a good time to warm up. They touch gloves. He's a bit too touchy. That's okay. It's better than chucking a Ronda disregarding the ritual. And now look how fucking focused he is. There he is. It's fight time, ladies and gents. His opponent has done zero self-promotion. I'm a bit worried about that. Oh, I take that back. Solomon is down. He's fucking knocked out in nine seconds. The bloke whose mind is on the job wins. That does make a lot of sense in hindsight.